It's deer hunting season. And I'm gonna go over the reason why you do not give your dog, if you do, your dog should be on a raw diet, first of all, definitely. Do not feed pet food. But why you don't give your dog raw deer meat or any type of wild game. This is very difficult for people to understand, so I'm gonna talk real slow, okay? Now, first of all, if you get your meat and it's farm raised and it's human grade, you have zero, you're gonna have zero issues, none. There are gonna be no issues. You can feed the dog the food and it's fine. You don't have to freeze it, it's not a problem. Chicken, you're not gonna see any salmonella in the chicken. The, the chickens that are factory farmed, they're inoculated in the egg. Salmonella would not be a problem for a canine. That is something that the canine could just deal with if it had anyway. It's gonna shed that. It's more of a problem for you, not the dog. But there are things that will kill your dog, and this is a fact. And there's many things out there that will kill your dog that are in the woods. And they will kill, it'll kill a coyote, it'll kill an animal. There is no, somebody was asking me the other day, well, what about coyotes and wolves? They eat it, yes. And coyotes and wolves get sick and coyotes and wolves die, okay? So if you think that by freezing it, you're gonna kill all the pathogens, not all the pathogens are either a virus or a bacteria. This is a fact. Let's use, what would be a good example of that? Mad cow disease. That's neither a virus or a bacteria. I'm not saying that a deer in the woods has mad cow, has that, but it could, it could. You don't know what that deer has. That's the point that I'm trying to make. See, see my point? Now, a lot of people say that freezing it will, will kill all the pathogens, kill everything that's bad for your dog. It has to be a certain temperature if you're gonna freeze, like, Freezing will kill tapes, I believe. It will kill tapeworms, but I don't think that freezing it kills trichinosis. So that's not gonna be that helpful. And if you're gonna use that method to try and kill parasites, your, your freezer that you get from Sears or wherever you bought your freezer from, that's not cold enough. And you're opening it up so it gets warm, that's not a proper way to do it. So you don't even have the proper equipment to try and make it safer doing it that way. You would need a commercial freezer that went low enough. You'll see on the internet, people say all kinds of stuff like feed it or uh, freeze it for three days. Then you'll see people who say freeze it for three weeks. Some people say freeze it for 45 days and some people will say freeze it for 60 days. What are you all talking about? If you have to freeze the food to make it safe to give to your dog, you're out of your mind. Why in the world would you take that approach? It's, and there's so much disinformation about how long to freeze it. What is clear is the temperature of your non-commercial freezer is not cold enough. So some people say three days, some people say, you know, they're just making it up as they go along. Watch out what you're reading on the internet. You wanna be safe? Use farm-raised animals. I'm all for raw diet. Salmon poisoning disease. Let's, let's talk about that for a second. Salmon poisoning disease is caused by a parasite. And you'll usually see salmon poisoning disease cases on the Pacific Northwest. So any type of salmon type fish, trout, they can have this parasite. It's not gonna affect you. It's not gonna affect the cat, but it'll affect the dog. So what's the recommendation for that? It isn't freezing it. You can't be 100% safe unless you cook that. That's just how it is. You wanna take the chance? It's ridiculous. If you, if you knew, let me put it like this, if you knew Say, say, say Tonka here. Tonka has his rabies shot, right? You have a dog like Tonka, he has his rabies shot. And you know that a, that a or maybe you don't know, but, but say, say you just live in the eastern part of the United States where rabies is prevalent. And you shoot a raccoon, okay? And the chances, it could have rabies. Would you be willing to give that to your dog even though that it has the, 
But let's, let's even make it even more obvious. You see a raccoon, it's looking odd, it's out during the day, and you shoot it. Would you give it to your dog? It has its rabies shot. No, you don't. I don't understand why this is so difficult, and I understand it's deer season, and I understand that people aren't that bright. And I had somebody telling me yesterday that wild game is more nutritious. Really? Okay, so, so this, is, this is how this person thinks. They think that the, the animal that is raised in the woods is going to be more nutritious than a farm-raised animal. They're saying that the protein is actually different if it's wild. It's not. A wild duck, a feral duck, a farm-raised duck, it's a duck. It's the same protein. It's just with the wild duck or the feral duck, it could have diseases. Leptospirosis. Leptospirosis, when, you're, when it's winter time, you don't have to worry about lepto. It's cold enough, it freezes, and it'll kill lepto. Okay? That's true. Why, why are you taking a chance with this, though? If, if, you get, if, if your freezer isn't working properly, or you keep opening up the freezer, it's not gonna go cold enough and a lot of stuff is not gonna die. The only way to be 100% sure would be to cook the food and that defeats the purpose of the raw diet. So I don't suggest that you do that. I'm just making a suggestion that is common sense. And the common sense suggestion is, is don't use wild game with your dog in a raw diet. Use farm raised. That's why chicken is used. Chicken is safe, it's readily available, it's cheap. You don't have to worry about anything. You don't have to worry about having a commercial grade uh, freezer. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to have it flash, flash frozen. It's, it's safe, you get it from the store. If I go buy Tyson chicken, no antibiotics are used and I know that it's not gonna have salmonella. That, that bird that you get and you want to feed it to your dog, they could very easily have salmonella. It's going to at very least make your dog sick and then it's going to spread its... I was going to say then it could spread its virus to you, the dog owner, but I bet most dog owners that would do something like that don't even have their dog living inside. So it's probably not going to spread to you and it probably won't be a problem with your dog. You don't want to do this and I, I urge you not to give deer meat to your dog don't don't use it for yourself cook it for yourself raw diet's a great diet to have for your dog but to this makes people upset and I don't know why it makes people upset it's common sense listen up geniuses this is real important freezing bacteria will not kill it it will make it inactive okay Viruses, sort of the same thing. It can, it can kill it, and it might not too. You understand that there, there are people, scientists talk about this, like digging up a bacteria or a virus from 10,000 years ago. It's, it's absolutely possible. Did, did you hear what I just said? Freezing... Well, only, it's only going to kill certain parasites, okay? It doesn't kill all pathogens. It's not going to kill your bacteria. If the meat went in there fucked up, it's going to come out fucked up. You're taking a chance, even if there's the slightest chance. Would you really... Would you take salmon from the Northwest and feed it to your dog if it was just frozen, knowing how prevalent that problem is why would you take a chance? They came out and said, well, you know, that's how everybody did it for years. They would have frozen salmon and then they'd throw them to their dog. Now everybody takes that salmon and cooks it real quick, makes a gruel and gives it to their dog that way. Because it's 100% safe if it's cooked, it'll kill the pathogen. I don't know why this is such a problem. I got attacked seriously on my Facebook page because I'm telling people don't do that don't use wild game for your dog if you want to be 100% safe use farm-raised animals
Freezing, I don't think, kills tuberculosis. It can kill tapeworm, but I don't think that that will kill tuberculosis. There's other things than bacteria and viruses. Like I said, mad cow. How do you explain that? Mad cow, you could freeze the meat and it's not going to matter. Your dog's going to get... Do you understand the point? It's not safe. And all that kind of stuff, that zoological, it jumps species. Keep it as safe as possible. Use farm raised, keep it at that. And, and when I talk about farm raised, I'm not talking about Billy Bob down the highway that has chickens that are not inoculated in the egg. I'm talking about using actual farm raised food that's safe. You use human grade sources. Would you eat raw deer meat? I would eat raw beef, but I would not eat raw deer meat. Ask yourself that. Will you eat it? If you're not going to eat it, don't give it to your dog. If you feel safe giving your dog raw deer meat, do it. I don't give a shit. Do whatever you want, Einstein. What, what's the point? Why? Because you're so cheap that, you know, you're going to... It's not more nutritious, okay? It's less safe. That's what it is. It's less safe. While we're on the subject, if you want to switch your dog over to, you, you get a puppy and you want to have your puppy on a raw diet, don't give it bone-in chicken right away. Start chopping it up, smash it up, grind it up. And as the dog gets closer to four months, then you can smash it up less and less. You can even, once they start getting, dropping milk teeth, you can start giving it to them frozen. And then, you know, four months, five, by, by the time that the dog's five months old, you can give them a leg quarter that go through it like a little beaver. But if you give that, you don't know how many c times I get these calls. I'm, give my dog a raw diet, my puppy a raw diet, and they're having diarrhea. And what they did was they gave the puppy a leg quarter and, you know, the puppy got enteritis and has diarrhea and then it just kind of continues. They can't smash it up good enough. If it was, you know, a, a wild dog, the, the food would already be masticated by the adults. And also, a wolf would be considered a giant breed. So if you, if you have a giant breed dog, right, you have a mastiff. I had somebody on there just, just the other day saying this. Well, I wouldn't give them turkey because the bones would be too, too big. And then I look at the pictures. They, they own like 200 pound dogs. And then they're saying, well, I, I'll, I'll give them just chicken and everything's fine. Yeah, you have a giant breed. I don't recommend anything like that giving a chicken leg quarter to a Labrador, a German Shepherd. You're really, you know, running this line of, of giving the dog enteritis. Smash it up for the first two months. What's the problem? You don't know how common this is. Okay, you got away with it with your Mastiff. Yeah, she's talking about using chicken and quail. Yes, you have a giant dog. A dog like Tonka, a GSP, you would never do that with. You You give a puppy GSP a leg quarter, they're gonna have diarrhea real bad because you gave them enteritis, okay? Smash it up, even, even if it was, that's generally what I train is puppies, okay? If I had a Mastiff puppy coming here, real big dog, I'd still be smashing it up with, with the puppy because I don't want the hassle of having the dog have enteritis. I would smash it up until the dog got older. It's common sense, you use common sense. Wild game is not as safe as store-bought game for your dog. Yes, use a raw diet, but use some common sense. Yes, freezing it will kill the parasites, but it's not going to kill everything. That's a fact. And one more time, your freezer that you get it, it's Sears or wherever you bought it. That's a household freezer. It doesn't go as low as what it should be to kill all the parasites. You're going to have a hard time finding veterinarians that are going to tell you that you're doing it safe. Now, with that said, you'll have a far hard time finding veterinarians. They're going to tell you that raw diet is OK. I realize that. So understand, I'm a proponent of raw diet, and I'm telling you, stick to farm-raised animals. Don't believe everything the vets tell you. Absolutely.
but some stuff you have to take, you know. I'm not gonna discount everything the vet tells me because they tell me stupid stuff about salmonella. It's not a problem. It isn't. It is not a problem. If you're getting your, your chicken from Walmart or Costco, it's not a problem. Your, your, your dog's not gonna get salmonella. Do you understand my point? It's not 100% safe. Well, why is this such a, are you that cheap that you want to save money so you want to feed your dog roadkill or you want to go out and hunt? Is that, is that what all this is about? It's not safe. It's, listen, it's safer to give your dog farm raised meat, okay? This isn't that hard. Not everything can be killed by freezing it. And yes, mad cow, dogs can get mad cow. It's a possibility, that's what I'm saying. You're not gonna be able to kill it. And I'm not saying that mad cow can't be in commercial meat. It has, it was a big problem in England, right? Didn't you all have a big problem with mad cow? Then shut up, shut up. You don't know what you're talking about.